down there. This camera dry out here. Uh, yeah, they're, they'll Your catch us. We're just talking to each we're just other. Chatting. Yeah, we're just chatting. Chat. Okay. We're ready. Okay, you guys are ready? Okay, we're going in five, four, three. All right, today we're hanging with a former student of mine, a guy who's made it big in the WWE. And uh, I hope I can understand some of the $50 words he's going to throw at me here. Welcome aboard. We called him Chris Harvard, Chris Norwinski. Chris, welcome aboard. Thank you very much, Les. It's an honor to be back with you. You know, uh, it was uh, great having you come into our camp. I, uh, to give these people a little bit of history, if they don't know, you came in second to Maven in the very first Tough Enough. Uh, you and I met uh, back in February in Toronto at, uh, at WrestleMania. And up there, you were getting basically a tryout, which I didn't know at the time. And uh, what, three months later, you showed up at HWA? Actually, about a month later, I showed up. Because WrestleMania is in March, right. for those who know. And uh, in April, yeah, or April, late April, I came, drove, drove my car, filled it up with all my belongings, and headed to Cincinnati. Had some good times there. What exactly did you expect when you showed up at our camp? Uh, I don't know, I guess I expected a school, but just, you know, a school on steroids, you know, everyone being very good, everyone being very, you know, polished, and me just trying to stay afloat, you know, hard work, long days, and that's pretty much what I saw. Well, of course, you know, what you didn't get, though, was a lot of hazing, right? Yeah, no, actually, the guys were very good to me. I think everyone gave me a chance to, uh, to you know, come in and, and not, you know, if, if I hadn't screwed up, I think they would have been all over me, but I didn't. I kept my mouth shut, kept my nose clean. And you know we had a good tag team going there with with smart money, right? You and Easy Money, and uh, actually was a good strong heel team for HWA. I think Smart Money was one of the most remunerative tag teams ever in HWA history. Uh, unfortunately, we had to split ways, uh, but I've talked to Easy re recently. He's doing well, and hope you know maybe that tag team will come back sometime because we were the best dancing tag team I think you've ever seen. <laughs> yes. Well, if you haven't seen these guys dance, you haven't lived yet. Uh, of course, when you came up here to WWE, you got partnered up for a while with Regal, and you talk about a great mentor and teacher. He has to be one. Yeah, uh, yeah. Teaming up with William Regal is one of the luckiest things that ever happened to me because not only was he my mentor on TV, he was also my mentor behind the scenes and on house shows, and he took very good care of me and took me under his wings. I've, I have a lot to learn. I'm very, still very new to this business, and it's great that guys like that will help me out. How did you? Uh, were you nervous the jump when you left HWA and you came up? here to WWE for the first time. I mean, were, were you just a real bundle of nerves that first night out? Yeah, I was really nervous. I had the smallest of parts my first night, but I was just so worried. I mean, I, they were giving me a shot before, you know, anyone really knew if I was ready or not. It was just kind of trial by fire, sink or swim, and luckily I've been able to swim a little bit. Uh, you see, there's some guy here saying uh, yeah, Harvard's, <laughs> Harvard sucks. Wow. You want to come up here and get yeah, in on this thing? Us. Come on. Come on. Come. Uh, you don't want to get anywhere near you, he said. That's, that's my former mentor, Al Snow. Luckily, William Regal untaught everything he taught me. So now that I know what I'm doing out there, uh, I should have went tough enough, Al. So you know. <laughs> well, anyway, you got a job in the, in the big dance. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm here now and uh, take, uh, on the Raw brand. And uh, you know, I'm very lucky to be here and just trying to do my best. You seem to be doing a heck of a job, Chris. Listen, uh, it's it's a hell of a thing to ask a guy who's just getting his career started, but there's going to be a, a point where there was not going to be a wrestling career. Have you thought about that? Are you investing? Are you thinking about opening some sort of business or what? I'm still paying off my loans. There's no time for investing yet. Um, I don't know. I, I choose. I'm, I'm the kind of guy who doesn't live, to live having a plan B. I put everything into plan A, and I always have the degree to fall back. I'll never, I'll never fall through the net. There's always, there'll always be something. But I, everything's invested in this right now. Social life. Uh, I mean, this business uh, keeps you on the go all the time, and uh, I, I know you've been quite a ladies' man. Have you still? Um, yeah. You know, I, I try. I, it's, it's hard, less you know, when you're a different town every night, but. You do what you can, and you know you meet nice, interesting people for an evening, and it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. And uh, wh what do you think the future right now holds for you in WWE? I mean, uh, this thing. Well, Al just walking by here. Uh, I'm foreseeing uh, some pretty heated matches between you and your mentor. Yes, uh, I need to get my uh, back to Al here. Al, uh, me and Al have a lot of real heat between us in real life, and so I'm going to hopefully get a chance to beat him up a little bit in the ring, get my revenge. You know, I still got Maven to go after. 
and this whole tough enough thing could explode. You never know. There's a lot of us floating around these days. Well, that's the truth. Well, listen, I, I, I got a few, I know a few of Al's weaknesses, so if you need any help, stop by the camp when you're in town next time. Thank you. I, add, I'll add them to the list because the man's got lots of weaknesses. Chris, you're doing us proud. We're uh, certainly happy that you were with us at HWA, and we wish you all the luck here in WWE. Thank you, Les. It was great to be at HWA. It helped me a lot in my career. Thank you very much. Today we were hanging with Chris Norwinski. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it.